plaintiff, Crystal Wiggins, says the defendant is her daughter, and Crystal is hoping to repair their relationship today. Crystal is suing because she loaned her truck to the defendant, and after it broke down, she abandoned it. Defendant Diana Wiggins admits she ran away a lot when she was younger and was not the easiest child to deal with. Diana claims her mother is suing her for more than she owes. Start with you. I'm here um, trying to um, get a relationship back with my daughter that has been... What happened to it? Um, since high school, she just wanted to go her own way, do her own thing. No, she had a child in 2012. How old was she? I can't remember. I know she's 30 now. So. Okay. And that was eight or nine years ago. Yes. So that means she was 21 or 22. Yes. Cause, yes or 22 or 23. Mm -hmm. Yes. Said in high school you had problems? So yes. Trying to get um, the problems yeah, you've yes. had with her. I, um, at one point, I couldn't get her to stay home. And I talked to the authorities and the schools and stuff about her. And um, the advice that they gave me at the time was as long as she's going to school, there was nothing that they could do about it. What do you mean? It. She was running away and yes. living something? Where would, where would she live? Um, I have no idea. Just To this day? To this day, just okay. with whomever, wherever. Okay. Yes. Let me uh, hear from you. You give me some background on your relationship with your mother? Yeah, I was a runaway child, but I stayed. You ran away how often? I, I was running away a couple of times. A uh, couple? I went to it, yeah, because I'll go Over back. Over the course of how long? Um, how many years? Mm, i say from when I started high school to the 11th grade. Cause okay, so I, over two years you ran away twice? Yeah, I ran away, yeah. I was running away. I would you go said back. twice? Yeah. Okay. There's a big, you said I was running away. Mm -hmm. That implies that it was quite a bit. Yeah. Twice is a lot different than quite a bit over the course of a couple of years. Yeah. So what were you, where would you go? I was going to a friend's house. All right. And the same place? And how long would you stay those two? Uh, like either one to two weeks, sometimes like mm -hmm. that. But I was still going to school or All right. whatever. And your mother didn't know, no one knew where you were staying? No, nah, she would try to get in touch with me, but you know, I wasn't trying to be found. So yeah, she really couldn't the get school in school didn't know where you were staying? Uh, no. Okay. They just knew I was coming to school. How about the place you were staying? Uh, I was uh, staying with a friend. If, yeah, their parents. Uh, she, she didn't know I was running away. I know, but she didn't talk with you and ask about your mother. Does your mother know you're here? Does, are you staying? How long are you going to stay here, honey? No, she didn't ask And then that. how old were you? Uh, around that time, I was like 16. Because I... I fell behind, so I was in a, I was older and a younger. Uh, okay. So at 16, some parent let you stay with them without talking to your mother. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to get across as well. Yeah. Defendant Diana Wiggins is being sued by her mother, who says after today, she's hoping she can repair her relationship with Diana. Let's get to what you're suing her about. You're suing her about a car and the cost of auto repairs. Tell me about that. Back in December, I um, let Diana borrow my truck. I told her, Diana, you can use this to December take care of, of your of 20? Of 20, yes. Mm -hmm. To take care of your business and you'll be able to bring the boys back and forth, you know, and get your vehicle together and then bring mine back. I didn't know, like, <clears throat> I guess about in March um, is when I found out that um, it had bro broken down. She didn't tell me. At the time, I didn't know that it had broken down in Chicago, which I had told her, Damn, don't be on the highway in the truck. She told me, and then I really never heard anything else about it, about her trying to get it back it was, to It me. wasn't in good shape? It, um, it would, I had just got repairs on it, so it was, I guess, actually in better shape than I knew because um, I told her not to be on the highway in it. When the repairman gave it back to you, which yes. had been recent. Yes. He, I'm sorry. The repairman said to you. He didn't, no, he I didn't say that money? I. You give him your money. Yes. And he says, okay, I fixed your car. Thank you for your money. 
Yes. Just don't you get on that freeway. No, he didn't. He didn't the repairman <laughs> right. did not tell don't me that. Don't go over 15 miles an hour. I'm sorry, no. The repairman did not tell me that. I told her that. Why? I didn't want her on the highway in it. Because I had just got it fixed and That's I That's the point. So now she can go on the highway because you just got it fixed. Unless your repairman said, I didn't fix it well enough for you to go on the highway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judge. Well, yes. Well, I knew that how unresponsible that she could be and that if something like this happened, that she would not take responsibility for it right. exactly as it has been. She and what never, did happen again? Um, as far as I know, she just told me that it broke down on the way up here the second time, and that's all I heard. Okay. And the 3700 is for what? For the car and the for repairs? The, for what? For the cost of the car and the repairs. How much did the car cost? I paid 2700 for All it. All right. And where's the car now? Um, far as I know, still in Chicago. She just informed me the other day that they may be towing it. So I guess that's me. How for, long ago was it? like last week that she told me that they would be towing it because I told when her. When did she leave it? When was it left on the side? In March, as far as I know. Okay, and you think they're just getting around to towing it since March? Yes. On the side of the freeway? Okay. Well, at someone's house. Oh, yeah. okay. Some, oh, she was having it towed. It wasn't being towed because it was parked illegal. I think that it was under um, a no t parking sign Okay. I asked her about that, and she was like, well, if it's any tickets, they'll let me know. And okay. I'm just now knowing about it. She really never discussed anything it. about it. So you, Okay, that's why you don't know when and whether it was told or whether it should have been told in March. Exactly. You, you know nothing. All you know is you let her use your car and it's gone, and all you've been getting is stories ever since. I haven't even been getting stories. Just ghost. She never even responded to me about it. Ghosted you? Yes. Ma'am? Okay. I uh, took the car and I brought it here and it stopped on me mm -hmm. at the end of February. I didn't tell her right away because I was trying to figure out what was going on with it so I could get it prepared, uh, repaired myself since it was in my care mm -hmm. and I know she's going to complain about it and eventually here to sue. Why would she have to sue you? I, th that's the same thing I feel. If you call... I, no. Hmm? That's the same you thing. You knew she was eventually going to sue you? I, yeah, that's You wouldn't I have to know to... that if you knew you were going to pay her for the damage you did to her. Right. But why would somebody have to sue? Why would a mama have to sue her child when the right. child has damaged her property? Defendant Diana Wiggins is being sued by her mother, who says after today, she's hoping she can repair her relationship with Diana. Why would a mama have to sue her child when the right. child has damaged her property? The child should be able to say, be decent enough to say, Mama, I damaged your property, but I'm going to pay you, and here is a payment arrangement. Not, well, I damaged mama's property, so she going to sue me. Why does mama have to sue their child? Why doesn't the child call mama back instead of ghosting her? Call mama back. Mama, I destroyed your property. Mama, give me a payment plan because I can't afford to do it now. You, mama, can't talk to you right now. Mama, I ain't answering that. That's mama. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to tell her. Mama. Oh, I know she ain't going to do nothing but sue me. So ain't no sense in me answering this call because she going to sue me. Instead of saying, hey, mom, yeah, I got some bad news. What, girl? Well, let me just start and say nobody hurt or anything. Uh, but I, the car stopped when I was on the such and such. What do you want me to do? But let me just tell you, whatever it is I did, if I did anything wrong, my mom will take care of it. You ain't got to say, ah, I'm going to get sued. Who does that unless they don't intend to pay ever? <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. No, I actually, when I found out what the what was wrong with the truck, I actually offered to pay her for the truck because she actually After offered how long? to pay me. Huh? After how long? After, oh, I texted her. You don't even know how long you had the car before you texted her. When did it break down? It broke down at the end of February. February 23rd. 
Then I had to figure out what was going on with the truck. What do you I mean by that? F figure out how? I had to uh, see what was what was going on with the truck to make it not uh, start. To fix it? Yes. All right, so when how she, long did that take? It took like two weeks because I went back home because I had to go to work. How did you, okay, got it. Let's move right along. So, uh, it took you two weeks to have it checked out and you still ain't calling mama. Got it. All right, so the cost of the car, you want how much? 2700 you said, yes. and the repairs, 1000 Yes. All right. And your defense is what again? That she was going to sell it to me for 1500 We agreed. I asked her, could I buy it for 1000 She said 15 I have the Texas. Which page? Page one. Okay. And did you pay the 1500 No. Why? Because that's when uh, I actually, because I was trying, because she, she asked me, why, why do you get to have two cars? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's when we actually started talking about it. And I said, okay, because uh, she told my boyfriend that if we pay her $100 for uh, the tax... Ah, uh, stop with this nonsense. Uh, I don't even understand what you're talking about. Uh, let's get to the agreement. Read where it says 1500 We have an agreement. And then she asked me, but why do you, but it's okay for you to have two vehicles. And then I say, can I do, can I do 1200? Cause I'm almost uh, paid up off my debt of what I had left of money. And then she said, if you knew. Let's she, get to the 1500, ma'am. And, and then she asked directed me, me to this page saying that you all have, I'll see an agreement that you all had for mm -hmm. 1500. Just read that part. She didn't say that. Oh, she, all I said okay. was, okay, so you didn't have buy... an agreement. you perpetrating the fraud against the court when you say that something is on there and it's not. Well, I think it that uh, All good. right, judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. You directed me to something that's not there at all. Sounds like to me you had a proposed agreement and she declined it. Is that what happened, ma'am? Yes, sir. And now you want the value of your car. Yes, I yes, know. Honor. I'm a lawyer and a judge. Judgment for the plaintiff. I know how this goes. Hope that we can get back together as a family. You know, it's just, I keep telling you, it's just me and you now. I know that it's just me and the boys. Me but you and them boys. But I guess as soon as this gets all good, cleared up and whatever. It shouldn't even took this. I mean, that has nothing to do You're with right, my grandkids. You're right, it shouldn't even went this far. I felt like if you would have just waited, you actually would have had your truck because I actually found a way of getting it fixed. How long do I have to wait? You ain't said nothing to me about it.